H. pylori is a well-known cause of gastric cancer and um, gastric ulcers and peptic ulcers in adults for many decades. And it has also been associated with and it is a cause of chronic gastritis. But what we do not know uh, in depth is the role that H. pylori plays in young children. At what age are children being infected? If children are being infected, how long are they infected? And what is the consequence of infection? Those are the studies that we have been particularly interested in during the past decades, for which we followed cohorts of children from birth up to 10 years of age, trying to determine the rates of H. pylori infection using a simple stool antigen detection test that's highly sensitive and highly specific. And we've been able to show that around 20 to 25% of a middle low income population of Chilean children are infected, mostly acquiring the, the infection between the second and third year of life. And what we think is this is the reality that's occurring in most of the world. Adults infected are mostly being infected when they are children. So now that we know that around 20 to 25 percent of our children have a persistent infection that will start within the second and third year of life mostly, we want to try to understand what this infection means. So we have looked at several different factors in infected and non-infected children using a case control design. And the most interesting finding in my mind is demonstrating that infected children have differential expression of what can be some relevant genes compared to non-infected children, although they do not have symptoms. Most importantly, cancer suppressor or cancer activator genes are differentially expressed. We have particularly looked at one of these genes, it's called SLC5A8, which is a cancer suppressor gene that we have showed and published that it, its expression is decreased in infected versus not infected children. Now what this means in time, if this suppression sustains for many years, or it's just a transitory phenomenon, is matter of studies that we are doing at the moment. But to conclude, what we're showing is that H. pylori infection in children is being translated into a microscopic genetic transformations that may prove to be relevant. And thus far, maybe it will be worthwhile in the future to prevent H. pylori infection through vaccination.